Hello guys and welcome back to Pure Heart. Chris here, as usual, back again with another album review. And guys, before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button and also comment down below what your favorite song is. And if you're new here or a returning visitor and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out this channel and let's get into it. So Technicolor by Elevation Youth is Elevation Youth's latest album. They're actually based off of, get this, not the Elevation Church with Stephen Frederick, but actually in an Elevation Church in Australia. So there's a fun fact for you. And so with this album, it's their third ever album. It's been three years since their last album, which was called Now I See. And so that had very good songs like No Pressure, and you get the remix of that song here. And that's actually done by Chris Holland. Honestly, check him out. He, he's actually really good. Honestly, my initial thoughts of this album, I actually didn't mind this album. It is that, honestly, it's just a really very fun worship album. But literally the best way to describe at least this band is with Hillsong Young and Free, okay? And the reason why Young and Free is because, well, one, it's Hillsong's youth band, but it's also, you know, there, there's very similarities here and there between the two two bands with their music style, because you do get with that sound of the Hillsong Young and Free sounds, at least if you ever listen to one of their live albums, then you know what you're gonna get here just with that uh, very techno beat type of stuff. And also with a lot of youth bands, you know, they like those techno type of beats. That it kind of has this dance party type of vibe to it. And at least with some of these songs, I was like, I was like, okay, I can get to the groove of this. So with this album, I actually had some fun with it. So the reason why I say it's really a fun worship album is because they really put a whole lot of emphasis into the music style rather than the lyrics. Some of the lyrics here and there for each song has a little bit of lack and it has that, you know, beginning type of uh, believer faith about always needing God, which is honestly still true for our Christian life. It's just, you know, whenever you listen to this album, you're just like, okay, I want more. I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper. And so, you know, if you're more of that person that's really looking for those deep, rich lyrics, then you're probably not going to get that here. So there's that. There's some songs that I actually liked here and there. I wouldn't put it on to, say, one of my favorite worship playlists, but, you know, if I heard this song, either sung during a youth conference or during church or during wherever, any of these songs from this album, I'd be like, okay, yeah, this is a pretty good song. Uh, so it's, like, really one of those, those type of vibes where it's like, you know, I may not put this on a worship playlist, but then again, I may, you know, if I... I may put this on a really fun playlist. And also, what I really like about these uh, songs is like, it's technically only really 11 to 12 songs for the album, but then they have these bonus tracks, which is the studio songs of really more of the popular ones on this album. Like, for example, the No Pressure by Chris Holland remix. Literally, the title track, which is called Technicolor, which is actually probably lyric wise my least favorite song music wise it's it's up in the air it's not bad but it's not great uh and also unshakable love which is pretty good song so overall i'm gonna have to give this album a 3.5 out of 5 praise hands an album that i actually had a whole lot of fun you know just listening to most of the songs i didn't mind there's a few good songs here and there but you know nothing to really write home about i really enjoyed the first track of the song it really you know gets that vibe up of the entire album and you know it really gets you to what you're going to expect at least through most of the parts of the album besides you know some of these slow songs and so again, you know, I really enjoy this album. You know, it's you're either gonna love it or you're not gonna like it. It's honestly up to you guys. If you guys are looking for, say, some more youth style songs, then this would be a really good album. Or if you have children, then they'll probably honestly love this album. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they won't like this album. But, you know, if you if you guys like that more upbeat type of type of music with worship, then again, you're gonna love this. And with that, if you guys would, hit the like on this video, 
uh, comment down below what your guys' favorite song off this album was, and also what you guys thought about this album. And uh, this is going to be really helpful for this week, but comment down below what you guys want me to review. Really helps out this channel so I can know what you guys would honestly prefer uh, to review, say if I missed something, or even, you know, going back to the start of 2020, say if I missed something back there and you guys really want me to review it, and hey, and also it doesn't have to be an album review, it can be movies, it can, you know, if you guys want me to talk about a topic, then hey, we can do that, okay? Uh, and also, if you're new here or a returning visitor, but you haven't yet subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. Again, it really helps out this channel, and guess what? You are loved. Boom. Bye.